The Disney Cruise Line ships have movie theaters on them. I love going to movies. I am very particular about my movie theaters. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all the reasons why I love seeing a movie on the Disney Cruise ships, and then all the reasons why I hate seeing a movie on the Disney Cruise ship. So then maybe you can figure out if it's something you wanna spend your cruise time doing. Hey Disney Cruisers, it is so good to see you today. If you are already a part of our Disney Cruisers family, then give me a big thumbs up down below so we all know that you're here. If this is your first time finding this channel, then I suggest that you stick around for a little bit, check out some more videos. You will find lots of information on Disney Cruise Line that you will not find anywhere else on YouTube. And if you want to be notified of when I post videos, so you don't have to go searching for them, then you should subscribe and hit the notification bell because you don't want to be a rotten egg. Disney Cruise Line highlights a lot everywhere all the time that they have Broadway style shows and they should advertise it because they're spectacular but they also have movie theaters on board I know they show a lot of like Funnel Vision where you can watch Disney movies out by the pool and up on deck and they show that a lot on commercials but they also have an actual movie theater on the ships this movie theater plays movies all the time you will see them in your navigator in fact the first navigator you will get will tell you all the movies that they're playing throughout the whole week I feel like if you're on a shorter cruise you might not want to see a movie but if you have at least four days then there might be a time you can fit it into your schedule we love movies in this house so we always see at least one movie when we're on the ship I'll kind of tell you like the gist of the movie going experience and then I'll tell you reasons why I love it and why I hate it the movie theater has its own concession stand outside of it and it has popcorn you can even get like the collectible popcorn container things it also has soda and alcohol and candy everything at this concession stand is an extra cost it's convenient because it's right there and I will tell you that the prices are like not anything crazy like they're cheaper than my movie theater here but you can get popcorn for way cheap I think you can get like popcorn in a like a cardboard container for like a dollar fifty or something you can also get soda there their soda comes in cans that's very reasonable as well. But if you would like to save some money, do know that you are allowed to bring food from anywhere on the ship into these theaters. So you can go up to Cabanas and get something. You can go to Sweet On You or Vanellope's if you are on one of the larger ships and get some ice cream and take it in there. That's what I do. Or you could go get your drink from up on deck. You can go grab some pizza on the pool deck. You can even bring boxed candy from home if you would like and eat it in the movie theater. I know some people give that out as fish extender gifts. We have brought candy before. I don't think we ever actually ate it because like you're on a Disney ship. Like there's plenty of other things to eat besides a box of Sour Patch Kids. But just know that you can bring food from anywhere on the ship into the theater and eat it while you're in there. Right outside the movie theater will be a screen that'll tell you the lineup of the movies for that day and when they're playing. Most of the time, and you'll find this in the Navigator, they play a family-friendly movie in the morning, like way early in the morning, like 8 or 9 o'clock. It says like family showing or something like that, which basically means that you're going to go into this theater and you're kind of going to have to understand that during this showing, they might even have the lights up a little bit and not completely dark. All the other showings that day are supposed to be more like normal movie experiences. There's no tickets required, no reservations, no assigned seating. You just walk in whenever you want, leave whenever you want. You don't have to do anything. You can walk in there for five minutes and leave. You could stay in there for four movies in a row. It doesn't matter. You come and go as you please. I feel like on the ships, the movie theater isn't very pronounced, so you might have to kind of go looking for it or look for it on a deck layout before you go searching for it because it's kind of in an area where you don't normally walk by it for any reason. But it does exist. Here are the reasons why I am obsessed with seeing a movie in this movie theater on the ship. One, I already said, you can take food from anywhere. Anywhere, you can bring as much food in there as you want. You can like eat your lunch in there. You can do whatever you want in there. Like that's cool, just eating lots of food while you watch a movie. And it's like you didn't pay for it, but like you do pay for it, but it just seems like you're not paying for it. But one of the main reasons is that it's not a screen that is super far away from you. You know how when you go into movie theaters and have a stadium seating and the screen is like up front, but it's like almost, it doesn't start until like six or 10 feet up in the air until it's really like away from you. Well, in this theater, there is a stage, like you can, you're not supposed to walk on the stage, but like you can walk on the stage, it's small. And then like the screen touches the stage. It's only back like three feet on the stage. So the screen is like right in your face, literally. Like you could go touch the screen. It's 
eye level. And it's so cool, like even if you sit up close, it's like you're immersed in the movie. I love that feeling. The picture quality, fabulous, beautiful. It's a high quality screen, projector, whatever it is they do for movies, it looks perfect. The sound in there is great as well. The chairs are cushioned, that's nice, and they are stadium seating. I also like going in there because not many people go see the movies, so you can pretty much take ownership of like your whole little area, like you and your tribe can like own part of the movie theater. And then it's nice to be able to come and go as you please as well. You know, you don't wanna be disturbing to others, but if you get in there 10 minutes late, who cares? And I'm gonna say that I would think most people on this ship have seen the movies that they play in there. If you happen to be on the ship the night when a Disney movie is released, they play Disney movies, which now is like every movie. Like midnight of the day it comes out, so like a Thursday night at midnight, they will have a premiere at sea. And it's premiere like it ends in like E-A-R, like ear, like Mickey Mouse, isn't that cute? All the movies they show are first run. Whatever's in the theater currently or has been within the last year, that's pretty much what's gonna be on the ship. Reasons why I hate seeing a movie in this theater are as follows. Like I said, you can go in and out as you please, which means other people are going in and out as they please. Sometimes they can be disturbing. Another thing that we don't like is that they keep the doors open most of the time. So light gets in the theater. I mean, it makes sense. Safety, don't have to keep messing with the door. I mean, it's back kind of far, but still light is coming into the theater most times. The chairs, they're cushioned, but they're very small. They are not like the theater seats that you probably have at your local theater. They are kind of like stadium seats. They don't recline, you sit upright pretty close together, not only like the people next to you, but then also the ones like in front and back of you. So if someone's walking behind you, they're probably gonna hit your head. And as far as the seats in front of you, you don't really have a lot of leg room. So it's up to you if you go see a movie in the theater. I think it's a nice thing to do, especially if you have time to kill or you're not sure what you wanna do, or if it's raining outside or freezing outside, or if there's a movie that you've been waiting to see that's being shown, or if it's a premiere that you're going to, or 3D. So I would recommend seeing a movie at least once. Go in there for a little bit. If it's not your cup of tea, then, you know, then you don't have to watch the movies. No one's forcing you to, but know that it's there. The concession stand is open all the time. I feel kind of bad for the cast member that stands behind the concession stand because people do buy stuff, but it's not like all the time. It's not like the concession stands at the movie theaters that you live by, but hey, if someone offered me that job, I would do it. Let me know below if you like seeing a movie in the middle of the ocean. I will see you in my next video. Bye cruisers. Bye.